Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, not just with the lips. And that people listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, the sun is shining, beautiful day. But this morning it was cloudy, almost raining. And many of us get upset even by things like weather. I ask you today, madali ka bang ma-upset? May nadinig ka, magagalit ka na. May nadinig ka, nasaktan ka na. May hindi ka napansin, ang sakit man na ng loob mo. Do you get upset easily? <coughs> Mga kapatid, remember this. If you are easily upset, you are set up by the evil one. Gusto lang ni Taning guluhin yung peace mo. So be careful of this. Take care of your peace. Peace is like very fragile. Eh? Like a candle in the wind. Subukan mo maglakad sa labas may kandila ka. Andaling mamatay yung ilaw. That is how fragile peace is. So we, today on the second day of Advent, check uh, the quality of peace in our hearts. You know, you have to protect your peace. Alagaan mo yan. Don't let anything or anyone or circumstances destroy that peace. Put off that light. Pagdasal, akala natin, okay na okay, pero may kunti ka lang na kwan. Lumabas na yung high blood ka, matapang, masungit ka, nagmumura ka na. Where is true peace? Protect please. Preserve your peace. I remember, I was a young missionary in Abra. And I was with a parish priest. We had a very small table. Kumakain kami. Well, conversation was not a problem. I say one sentence, he talks to the next five minutes. There are some people who don't know how to listen. Please listen to others. Not just you talking all the time. That disturbs their... For all you know, they don't like it anymore. You disturb their peace. Listen, please. Anyway, back to Father. I'll not tell his name, of course. <laughs> Eh, he talks long, hindi lang yun. Raindrops are falling on my, my food. Alam yung ginagawa ko, nilalagyan ko ng mga thermos, kung ano-ano, para lang to preserve my food. That is how we should take care of our peace. And what is the best way to have peace? 4 H of peace. The first H is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Anytime you want to get angry, anytime you're sad, you're confused, whatever, something is disturbing your peace, bow your head. Password, chs.com. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. When you pray to the Holy Spirit, doors open, hearts soften, and life moves on. Pero kung walang Holy Spirit sa buhay natin, you remain angry. Your doors are always closed. Your heart is hard. Your life is stagnant. Give peace a chance. Give the Holy Spirit a chance. Sisters and brothers, all of us can be disturbed 
by anything by anyone. Remember this. The gospel today says, just repent and believe in the gospel. In other words, mga kapatid, do not let things, people, circumstances destroy your peace. Your peace is here. You can choose to have peace. May taong mayabang, patulan mo yan, sira na yung peace mo. But if you take the road of humility with the Holy Spirit, you're at peace. Kahit sampung mayayabang nasa paligid mo, you are peaceful because you are focused on the Lord. Mga kapatid, choose your battles. Huwag mong papatulan lahat. You can. Don't do that. Bakit papantayan mo lahat sila? Don't. Ay, bahala na kayo. Basta ako, I'm going to be peaceful. And you can do that if you have the Holy Spirit who whispers to you, who enlightens you, who sustains you, comforts you. The Lord asks us all today, stay in peace. Don't let anything, anything, anyone destroy your peace. You know the first greeting of our Lord when He rose from the dead and met His disciples for the first time? What was His greeting? Peace be with you. Why did He say that? Because they were all afraid. They thought it was a ghost. But not only that, they were all ashamed because they all they all betrayed Jesus. Yang yasila. And here comes the Lord telling them, Peace be with you. It's okay. Okay, man. Don't worry. I pray for that. Of course, you know the Korean greeting. And yung asayo. And yung asayo. Ewan ko sayo. And yung asayo is a beautiful greeting of the heart. Literally, it means, Are you at peace? Today, I ask you, are you at peace? Are you a man? Are you a woman of peace? Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo at batiin mo siya. Ano nga sa'yo? Are you at peace? Are you awake? <laughs> are you alive? Amen. You know, the, the Koreans also uh, say, Pyonghwa. Pyongwa is peace. Pyongwa is sayo. Or, if you want to say, Sarang, is there love in your heart? Sarang is sayo. Kipum, is there joy in your heart? Again, please remember this. You can make a choice. Magkaguluman lahat yan, but if you say, I'm going to stay in peace. Whatever it takes. And what does it take many times? If you take the road of humility, you take the road of honesty, you can continue to be at peace. Take the road of prayer, you can be at peace. So mga kapatid, treasure your peace, please. So, peace starts in the heart. Holy Spirit. The second thing is H, honesty. Honesty. If you face something, tinanggap mo na, Lord, talagang ganito po ako, then peace comes to your heart. As long as you are in denial, walang peace yan. Kayong mag-asawa, palaging isyo nyo kung ano-ano dyan. Hanggat walang nagtatapat, ang gulo ng buhay, you know, honesty. When you say, nagkamali ako, this morning, I read a very long letter, one page in the Inquirer, of a law student who apologized publicly. It's my fault, he said. Now he is at peace because nagsabi na siya. Third H for peace, humility. By the way, before we go on, Diba, magkakapatid naman tayong lahat. And we are all honest, diba? Amen? 
Oh, pakitanong mo nga yung katabi mo, uh, by the way, how old are you? <laughs> Nako, Father, wala nang family, huwag na pag-usapan mga yan. You see, these are the things, little things. Mabuti pang tanghali, tapat. Now we go to humility. Sa akin po itong pinakasusi ng peace. Humility. The key to peace is humility. Because if you're humble, matatanggap mo na, makaka-forgive ka na. But if you're proud, yung away nyo na yan hanggang sa kamatayan, daladala nyo yan. Down to the grave. And you know what? Kayong mga magkakapatid nag-away-away, makaignan? Because of money, whatever? Look, yung quarrel ninyo, your generation, you pass it on to the children, to the grandchildren. Yung mga magpipinsan, mag-away na rin sila. Because you did not fix your quarrels. You, sorry to say this, pinapasa lang ninyo mga basura ninyo sa mga anak. Don't do that. Solve your problems. And the way to that is humility. Kung may magpakumbaba lang, solve na yan eh. Pray for the grace of humility. You know, the other thing is H, hard work. Peace is not easy. But it is not impossible. Pwede magkaroon ng peace. Don't give up on peace. Give peace a chance. Huwag na yung mga peace-peace na yan, Father. Hindi naman kailangan sa buhay yan eh. Basta mga anak ko, may pera sila, magandang edukasyon nila. But how about the values you're passing to the children? Are you teaching your children to live peaceful lives? Maybe you're training your children to be bright, intelligent, successful. But how about their values? You think your children will also live peaceful lives if they live the life that you are living, yung lifestyle mo? All business, all money, all uh, popularity. I hope you teach your children that there are more important things than money, than money, achievements, etc. Hard work. And one more thing, please, don't give up on peace. Give peace a chance. Don't be cynical about peace. And one more H, kailangan natin sa buhay natin, humor. Baka naman yung away nyo, konting tawanan mo lang yan, di ba? Naalala ko, may isang husband, he did not know how to make peace with the wife. Sabi niya, ihuhugot line ko ito. Ano? Hugot? Hugot. Sabi niya, darling, meron lang akong pick-up line. Ano yan? Sabi niya, kulangot ka ba? <laughs> Bakit? Si parang hard to get ka. <laughs> Ayun, nagtawanan na sila pero binatukan muna siya. But the point is this, your search for, sorry, medyo yata cross yung kwan, pero the thing is, you can make peace easily if you have humor. Pero pag serious kay lahat, no. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. The door opens, the heart is softened, and life flows on. I wishing you all to live more peaceful lives, my brothers and sisters. Peaceful lives. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take the road of honesty. Take the road of humility. Take the road of hard work. Don't give up on peace. And humor in your search for peace. And be instruments of peace. Kasi mga iba, ikaw ang nagiging Rason, walang peace. Eh. Don't be a peace breaker. Be a peace maker. Napakahirap kaya maging peacemaker. 
ikaw ang both sides, they gang up on you. Sometimes para kang kwan eh, para kang what you call this, yung doormat. But that's okay. How far easier? Magmatigas lang ako, bahala kayo dyan. That's easy. But the gospel is calling us, take this road of peace. I like to salute all of you who never give up. Kayong mga, kunwari in the family, there's always one or two who say, Uy, magsama-sama tayo. Huwag tayong magkawatak-watak. Ang dami naman yun. So, basta bottom line, blessed are the peacemakers. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Sisters and brothers, today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. You go back to your realities. You go back to your home. Wala namang perfect family. Walang perfect friendships. Walang perfect na bayan. But as far as possible, without surrender, take the road of peace. Take this road. It leads to God's heart. And you will have your reward. And the Lord embraces you. Blessed are you. Come, inherit the kingdom. Mabuhay po kayo, mga nagpapakumbaba for the sake of peace. Nagpapatawad for the sake of peace. At nagpapatawa for the sake of peace. Oh, by the way, December 8, Mama Mary, Immaculate Conception. Sisters and brothers, we ask Mama Mary to lead us into the ways of peace. And um, after the Mass, we have a little harana. This is where we sing the missionaries. And dami pong missionaries nagbabakasyon after so many years. So we come together and we also ask, mayroong konting chikas yata ng missionaries din doon at for the Mass, to help our missionaries, instruments of peace in 120 countries all over the world. Divine Word, Filipino missionaries. Please bow your heads and just say to the Lord, Lord, give me peace. Help me to live a peaceful life. Remind me, Lord, na kung peaceful ang buhay ko, kuotang kuota na ako. I don't need more money or wealth or influence, popularity. What for? I just want to have a peaceful life and I just want to be an instrument of peace wherever I can, in whatever way I can. Help me to focus on the heart, not on things or people or circumstances that disturb my peace. And Lord, someday, after I have done my mission, may I be given the joy to rest in peace in your heavenly kingdom where there are no more tears, no more pain, no more sorrows, no more problems, no more issues, no more hurts, and no more goodbyes where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen.